Welcome boardwalkers to my studio. I'm CB Mac and on this channel you'll find tutorials about plein air painting with watercolors, gouache, ink, graphite, and colored pencils. I also love to do some art supply. I also do some art supply reviews. In today's video I thought we would try swatching out a palette given to me by my daughter. It's um, Field Artist 12 Half Pans Travel Palette. And that. So let's get started. And first, let me apologize for the lighting in my studio. It's a very overcast, stormy day today. So that's why there's shadows across my desk and workspace today. We've got the HG Art Concepts Painters Color Travel Diary, our six, eight, our six inch by eight inch, 100% cotton watercolor paper with the movable glassine sheets in between with the 140 pound watercolor paper. And we're gonna turn to this page here where we had the Artige the watercolors this last time and I'm going to put these 12 half pans of the Field Artist Pro travel set down here on the bottom. It's got a nice mix in space and it comes with a set of 12 colors that did not come with what the colored names are so I tried to figure out on my own what these colors look like compared to the colors that I have with other sets that we've already swatched before. I've got my three containers of water. We've got my number eight round Princeton Aqua Elite that I use. So let's get going with these colors here. Our first color is going to be a lemon yellow and these all wet pretty well I haven't even put the dropper of water in it, any of these yet so let me go ahead and do that real quick just put a drop in each one of these and let it set up and get going real quick Lemon yellow. Ooh, that's some bright color. All right. This next one, I call it orange yellow because it's kind of orange, but it blends out to a light yellow. Like a warm yellow. Or it's like a yellow deep, orange yellow deep, maybe. Mm. Then we have vermilion. Ooh, powerful color, too much on there. You can see how well these colors are rejuvenating here. Nice vermilion red. Then we have our rose. Ooh, that one's bright too. These are very rich watercolors. They're smooth and creamy. Really re-wetting nicely here. Violet. Nice 
ostrich violet there. Get some more pigment on that brush to make that darker there. There we go. Our sixth color is going to be the Prussian blue. If you're enjoying this video, could I ask you to please tap on the like button, share this video, click on the bell icon for notifications of some of my upcoming videos. It makes a huge difference in the growth and support of my channel. During the middle of this filming, my camera had stopped so I and didn't notice it, so I'm going to continue this edit. Our sixth color was cerulean blue. Our seventh color. Our seventh color was cerulean blue. Our eighth color is sap green. Our ninth color is a deep green. Our tenth color, burnt umber. Then we had a sepia. I think it's sepia more than a Payne's gray. And then our last color was Lamp Black. And here's a close-up of all 12 of the uh, Field of Artist Pro Half Pan Travel Set colors. I hope you've enjoyed today's swatching. And again, if you enjoyed this channel, please hit the like button, share this video, and click on the bell icon for more notifications of upcoming videos. As I said, it makes a very huge difference in the growth and support of my channel. Um, also, in this video, I will post affiliated links for the um, paintbrush, the Painter's Colored Travel Diary, and this Field Artist Pro 12 Colors Travel Set. If you have any comments or questions, please post them below. And I do read each and every comment, although I can't always reply to everyone. I will try to get to the questions. I appreciate your watching this video, and look forward to seeing